good. We've landed in Budapest, but we've had an unfortunate turn of events where they lost our bags. Which we knew would happen, but we they knew. forced us to check it in. We had two layovers, so we really did not want to. After a 17-hour travel day, we're so hangry and tired. And, and we're just, stuck here. There's not even food here. Yeah, it's like, this is, we have to wait at baggage claim for the next three hours until our luggage supposedly gets delivered, but we're not even sure that it's on this next flight here. Beautiful here. We're in Budapest, yeah. <laughs> but we run into some issues. So after waiting at the airport for four hours because they said that our bags were in London and we're coming in on the next flight, only Ashley got her bag. So Caitlin and I are bagless. And so then we were like, where are our bags? And they were like, they're still in London. They could come on the next flight or the flight after. Like you'll probably get your bag in like realistically like two to three days. We're so hangry, like stomach is growling like crazy. So we just came to the hostel, put our stuff down and we're gonna go eat and then figure out the rest of it and pray that our bags come. But Luckily, I have this jacket, but- Guys, this is my Europe outfit. <laughs> so Europe girl, am I right? Europe. <laughs> so we're really struggling, but let me give you a little tour of our hostel. Um, this time we balled and got a private hostel. So let me give you a little tour. The bathroom is right here. And then the shower is like behind this door. And then this is our bed. It's honestly pretty cute. Oh, the exposure is so bright. But then you go this way. We got cute view here, so cute. Mm. Mm. Pistachio is always unbeatable. All my impatience is seeping away as I eat. We were just taking pictures right now and Ash is like, don't take pictures of me. Like, I'm just really not feeling my outfit right now. As if she's not the only one with clothes. With a choice of what to wear. We're at Retro Longos. It looks very interesting. Here too. <laughs> it's literally just little. Taste what it sounds like. It's bread, sour cream, and cheese. Little children found a candy store, and right now they're both obsessed with like bonbon. Is it bonbon or bone bone? The Swedish candy place. Dude. Um, this is my yogurt covered dried strawberry. Thanks. Oh, this is, I don't really know what it is, but it looks like a little key. I don't know what this is, but it's like strawberry marshmallow type of thing. Cheers. Hmm. Mine's what it is. Oh, is it a freezer strawberry? Mm-hmm. Mine has a weird texture. It's like very spongy. Tonight's dinner location. Gritty, go, gritty, go. Oh. We just finished din and we are going to meet a very special guest right now. <laughs> Not a great guest, but a very special one. Just showered at 6 a.m. with three in one shampoo, and I am wearing the exact same clothes as yesterday. But now I can change. Life is good. Today is gonna be a good day. I'm literally gonna go in the room right now, and Caitlin is gonna be so unbelievably happy. Caitlin, they found our luggage. <laughs> it's right here. I have an OOTD to give you all today. I'm wearing this cardigan, this tank top, jeans, 
and my Adidas forums and sunglasses even though it's cloudy and I'm gonna bring my coat because I think it's gonna be cold. It is a Gorgina Gorgina day today. We are in the park. This is Gorgina Park. We just walked around all day, we came back around like three or four and then Ashley napped and I napped for like the past 10 minutes, but oh, I'm so drowsy. Okay, see you at dinner. Lush? What do you think? That's what I said too. At the chicken paprikash, Ash, what did you get? Red wine beef. Welcome to night two. We are ready to hit the town. This is my outfit. I'm wearing a blazer. Blazer's back. It's bright and early, 8 a.m. right now. We're waiting for our Uber to pick us up right now. We slept like four hours last night. We're kind of exhausted, but we are ready to go see the castle, the Buddha castle and Fisherman's Bastion. Bastion? are hangry. We need some energy so we're gonna go get some brunch. I think like the fresher one would taste yummier, no? Wait, it's kind of good. It tastes like auntie and cinnamon pretzel but less cinnamon. Went to the grocery store and we're gonna do a taste test of the Cheetos peanut puffs. Wait, they like look like caramel tankum. They taste like nothing. <laughs> It's like peanut butter. Terrible Miami fizz. They're more sour than I thought. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> Bro. Ash, turn off your TikTok. <clears throat> I'm not sleeping. Such a lie. <laughs> You. We all just took the best naps of our entire lives. We need to stop sleeping so late. We slept like slapped. <laughs> we slept three hours on night one and we slept four hours last night. So tonight we are gonna knock out at like 10 p.m. and then go to the train station because today we are on our way to Vienna. Vienna, Vienna waits for you. <laughs> okay, one part. Now let's close. 
Second hostel tour looks like this. It is our first sunny day. Yesterday was raining all day. I'm wearing this cute top. Oh, <laughs> these jeans and my purse. Do you want to show outfits? I'm wearing this cardigan, tube top, and these jeans and those shoes. Ash? I'm wearing this white top, these pants, and my red sneakers, and a jacket and a bag. See you at Brecky. <laughs> The butterflies are so pretty, but they just get so close to you, and then you're like... <laughs> they just get so close to you, and you can't help but flinch, but they're so pretty. walked into Cafe Demo and like the whiff of all the pastries and baked goods just like hit me like a truck and it smelled insane. Like, oh my gosh. We just did takeout from Fickle Mueller which is like the super famous wiener schnitzel spot. We tried the potato salad just now. It's so good. Like I don't usually like potato salad but it's weird. Like the dressing's really delicious. But now I'm gonna cut up the wiener schnitzel. Looks like this. Mm. It tastes like fried fish. We got back to the hostel and we were just laying for like the past hour, hour and a half-ish because we we're exhausted. We, but now we're gonna go eat some Mediterranean food for din. Hopefully <laughs> dinner's yummy. We have not been impressed by the food scene in Budapest or Vienna. Um, the best yeah. thing we've eaten is vag pistachio croissants. Caitlin thinks McDonald's is the second best thing she's eaten here. And yesterday we had Italian food, which wasn't bad, but we haven't been like wowed by anything. So hopefully something wows us within the next like 36 hours before we go home. Okay. Ideally. Ideally. Last meal in Vienna. I was peacefully laying in my bed. Oh, ow. I was laying in my bed because we just got back from dinner and they're telling me to come down because there's karaoke. I don't know. Let's go see. We came back from karaoke. Okay, I was like the one who like did not want to go down and then I... <laughs> was there the longest and singing <laughs> bless you and singing the longest we're all having a hard time i literally had to sit on my suitcase to close it too wow i'm actually so impressed caitlin <laughs> Good morning. It is our last day. We're spending the morning in Vienna and then taking the train back in the afternoon. And 
yeah, I'm so excited for our last day. We're gonna go get brunch right now and then walk around and then come back and then we'll see what we're doing after that. We are walking around Budapest now. It's absolutely bustling today because the weather is so nice. Anytime we walk by like any block, there's always an abundance of Euro stands. And the second we try to look for one, we cannot find one for like 25 minutes. Surprisingly, our first gelato of the trip, I got pistachio, of course. We're waiting for our chimney cake to come out now. <laughs> Good morning! It is our final morning in Budapest. We are packing up right now, about to leave. She's rich in Miami fizz. I need it. <laughs> Ash's pistachio croissant and I'm trying this pistachio berry loaf. I'm excited. We're at Badge about to grub and then we're gonna go straight to the airport from here. But last night we were out in a crowd with like a bunch of people and then all of a sudden like some random person like kicks my heel and I like completely fly backwards and land on my back. And I'm just like, wiped out. I literally wiped out. She was standing one second and then I look over and she's just not there anymore. She's on and the I had just like fallen on my back. But now my back low key hurts. But we had an overall great time. Toodaloo.